Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Corvus version 5.0 by my friend Skylark, which is one of the best ROM out there in this Fire community. Oh my god, I did not see a ROM with this much smoothness as oil. When you put an oil or grease in a wheel, how smooth it works. Yeah, this one has been that much smoother in the normal usage and heavy usages as well so let's see how this rom perform in the gaming suction and battery backup yep let's begin this video before beginning this video i'll please remind you to subscribe like share comment and join our telegram group if you have any queries we will fix them as soon as possible please join our telegram group and telegram updates so you never miss any update from our channel so that activate the bell icon as well so let's begin guys let me show you the about phone section and this is currently running on android version 10 Corvus version is version 5.0 and android security path level is upgraded to may 5th 2020 and i'm currently using agni kernel which is one of the best kernel out there for gamers especially for gaming as you are a normal user if you want a best battery backup i would recommend this kernel as inbuilt okay use any other kernels like uh, storm breaker mistake rad etc and the se linux status is permissive okay guys let's explore all the features included in this room there are two tiles which is named as raven's layer and themes as you let me check uh, Ravens layer you get four tabs down it's named as system lock screen status bar hardware you get every customizations what you need for your device in these four tabs so let's check out the system tab because in the system we have notification miscellaneous let me show you this notifications yep you get heads up options height smart replies noisy notifications force charging animation as well which is working because i'm using that one daily and edge lightning and blink flashlight on call as well and you get notification led so that you can easily disable or enable when a notification came or just arrived on your phones to switch it off the led which be link over on the top besides the flashlight now let's check the miscellaneous you get everything here like rounded corners you can easily pad as you like and screen animations you get the stroke animation inside here and you get screenshot type you can just customize this too and you get long screenshot or expand screenshot works fine no issues with that okay now we are in the gaming section which is called as gaming mode it has all the features we need if you are enabling or playing or launching a game as usual and it works perfect quite best and you can add hair from here you can remove just tapping on the game or you want game or apps which you want okay you get the double tap to sleep as well when you double tap on the status bar it just put the device to sleep you get swipe to screenshot i mean this box perfect you get the long screenshot as well you can edit share delete as well you get launch music app on headset connection and you get pocket detection disable device identifier restrictions now let's go back and let's explore the lock screen features app you can see fingerprint proofs you get everything kind of 
fingerprint authentication vibration fingerprint error vibration as well they works perfect no issues among them and let's explore the lock screen items you get lock screen which is can add a shortcut to left or right swipe to open your preference app and you get lock screen styles which is kind of show you screenshots wait for that um, i can't give you or show you the live one cause i'm using the screen recorder mm, that's nice right yep i will show you the screenshot at the end or i will add in the after this you got everything kind of working perfect no issues at all you get styles and more peoples as well here in this you get everything like tons of phones to customize my favorite is max land which is the best font i have ever choosed or used as a lock screen style or clock style you get data style you can customize what you want from here you get owner style you can customize this one as well as increasing font size or decreasing as well if you're using this one like the text text clock you can easily align or clock style etc and let me show you now the lock screen charging animations they works perfect you get show status bar on the lock screen you get everything high lock icon okay guys now let's see the clock options as usual everything is working fine you can select your merzi i mean what you want you can customize the java format as well you get customizations like clock font size clock font color clock font style as well and um, let me show you the icon manager you can hide the status bar icon which you don't really need or which you don't want to stay here on this one while using it sucks when it is overlapping Yep, you get the signal icon search you get select all the icons that are customizable there's so many you can easily enable everything everything is kind of working fine and you get custom logo you can select whether to have it right left or logo style you can choose tons of logos from the given one as well okay you get toast app icon as well bluetooth battery status as well when you connect it to a bluetooth device or bluetooth headset it shows the battery status of that one so no issues regarding that you get now let me show you the quick settings as well quick settings full down you get everything smart pull down you get everything you get everything all you need you get quick footer text as well Mm, the new hair is the header image yep you can choose tons of pre-built image collections from here yep i want to tell one more thing is subtractum floater themes works on this device i have tested that one in the g apps version app that works perfect no issues yep that works here as well i did not download it i have cleared and clean flashed up my rom so i can't add them as well you get everything what you need you can get every customization what you need here yeah because you get graphic indicators as well you can customize everything as you can as you like yep now let's show the ticker yep this works no issues now let's go to the buttons and you get everything here volume panel on left you get volume panel on left this is a new feature that it has a pan android volume panel and you get music control you get volume rocker wake and more etc you get navigation system navigation settings you get all three here which is working pretty fine no issues at all yep to but navigation as well just navigation as well the system navigations you can easily customize how you want they looks perfect yep they looks perfect no issues regarding that one uh, you get everything like customizations like 
you can choose when you just like this let me show you one i am using the right swipe right now let me take the screenshot okay screenshot yep, as you can see when you long screenshot it takes a screenshot actual screenshot that is perfect right yep now let me show you the power menu as well you get everything you can customize the power menu animation as well i like the 3d one that one is perfect and at last we will check the themes which one of the best implementation in the rooms as in color you can choose tons of from here fonts you get tons of here icon shape you get everything from here stretch bar icon set you get everything in the normal and quick settings as you can see i'm using the asset color orange as you can see here the orange set below the header image that's nice you can easily choose or select a theme what you like yep if everything is working you can schedule as well which is the one of the feature which will be coming in the android 11 but these guys have been implemented this version uh, i mean this feature in this android 10 you can back up your theme but now let me show you the battery and the battery backup is well and fine for me yep i without gaming i get one hour 36 minutes on nearly 13 percent charge well, well i'm using this one yep and you get the everything is working fine you get adaptive battery as well this thing is weird yep let me show you everything is working fine as you can see my battery char my battery charge is about 87 percent the screen on time which is the one over 36 minutes let me show you what i have used this is the thing i have used in my one smart charging i don't know about this because i really don't use this one battery charge warning this is one of the best feature included in this one yep in the display everything you get mm, you can customize everything what you need everybody working show me parts everything is working fine the backlight demand is not working here yep vibration controller fps on display yep battery calibration let me show you that yep working okay default and audio works audio drop works everything is works ambient display works no issues among that okay guys you can see that as the change log included in the rom you get the face on log it is working perfect no issues with that at all fingerprint works pattern works everything is kind of works no issues among that tell you the final conclusion and now let's talk about the battery performance gaming performance daily usage yep. yep first let me talk about the battery yep if you are not a gamer if you are a normal user like other guys who want battery backup you can try out so many kernels out there this is the this is not the inbuilt kernel Agni kernel is best for gaming. Yep. For gamers, one of the best ROM you can try this once if you have time. One of the best I have played some games on this ROM. Wonderfully, I don't know I don't face any shutter lags or issues when the enemy is in front of us. Yep. As usual, due to this updates, it just little bit lags and i uh, get render lag as you can see you get on one plus devices high-end devices as well yep. now let me talk about the performance the overall performance is great and everything is fine no issues everything is okay and the final is 
and the final is one of the best rom with all the customizations what you need this is the second time i'm going to say this one of the best rom out there please if you aren't tested it or tried it once try this this one is one of the best rom from unofficial devs like skylark thanks to my friend skylark and let home for this wonderful rom actually this all credit goes to skylark and his helper is this let home one of the sexiest guy here yep thanks to them for making this beautiful wonderful rom to use thanks for watching see you in the next video if you aren't a subscriber please subscribe to our channel for more content like this yeah who are interested in titanium upcoming build because i'm going to test that one yeah but we'll give the review of that one as well and descendant x for redmi note 5 pro that one is also coming up so thanks for watching see you in the next video stay safe stay quarantine stay home bye bye peace out